In this video, I will uh, demonstrate how to work with the library function within our system. And into library, you will typically add uh, files, uh, a YouTube link or a web link. And I will now show you how you log in as a teacher and work with this. <clears throat> First of all, you log in as a teacher. You need to make sure that you have already enrolled in the course. Uh, I have one here called DNS Library. Uh, I am enrolled in this, so I can click and here I am in. Uh, editing it off at the moment and I will turn it on. <clears throat> As you can see, I have uh, added some uh, demo material already here under health. Uh, one called Mat Malaria, it's a folder with material and one called HIV AIDS, which is also a folder. It's just shown, showing all the files on the overview page. Uh, normally, if you have a lot of material, this is the best option to go. If not, this can turn out to be a, a very long front page if you do it in this way. I will now uh, do a demonstration under science, uh, a fictive one, to see how you add uh, a folder with some material and a YouTube link and a web link. First I go to add resources as and as I told you before it might look different than you you might just have one link where you get a long list and the resources will be one section. The most important thing is if you have a lot of files you should create a folder and that's what I will do now. The name of the folder will appear on the front of your course so I will just uh, call this for demo uh, files you don't need to have a description. Uh, you could, and clicking this, it will also show on the front page. However, here I can upload uh, the files that I want to have. So I click Add. Upload a file. A, I will browse my PC. Go to um, any kind of... Um, demo content I have. Here I have for example three files, a word document and two pictures. Uh, here I have to upload them one by one. Uh, could give them a name, but you could also just start by uploading them. So that was one. I do another. Take a word document. Open. And upload. So now I have uploaded two files into it. If the title doesn't tell you anything, you can click on a file at any point and you can change the name uh, picture showing um, the winner for example and you can update it and the text will reflect it the same with the word document you can always go in here and see um, all the winners from the competition for example, and upload. And you can upload as many files you want here. You can have 100 files if you want. You can also mark them and delete them. Uh, you can uh, download the files if you want uh, from here. Below you have something called on a separate page or in line on the course page. This is where I suggest you do it on a separate page because if not, as shown in the start, it turns out to be a very long list on the front page. So leave it on a separate page, but you can always go in and change it later. Save and return and close the course. As you see now, I have got a folder called Demo. And if I switch off the editing in the top bottom, the top corner, it just appears like a folder. So when I click on the folder, I will get a list of all the files available and you can also download the, the, the whole folder. So this is how you add a folder with documents and you can always turn editing on. You can go in and you can put uh, more files into this folder by editing it or you can add more content. Now I want to uh, add a URL. So I go to the URL, <clears throat> I have uh, found a URL here that I would like to add. I paste the URL in here and uh, at the top, a uh, good article about AIDS. 
then you can again uh, I will just do as a, a demonstration good to use for every one that are going to Mozambique for example and if you want this to be shown at the front page you can just click it there if not it will only be visible when you click on the URL so I have a link I have a text and return and save course so now I have added um, a this and you could put some note to this below if you wanted I then want to add some multimedia and multimedia it's called uh, labels so I click on label it brings me uh, to this page um, where I will add the, the the link that I want from a film so I click on the link I found a film here I go into my course and I have a, a button up here called media so I click on this and I do the URL there and I say film about AIDS I insert the media and here it will appear like this you can add more text below if you need to explain something about this film but if not you do save and return so in this way under the science you can add films you can add good links you can add uh, files and this is how you do it at any point you can go in and edit for example if I wanted all the files to show on the front page because I don't have many you can then go and say take some time to load there in line on the course page and save and return and I am back to the front page and now you will see the files already here so you have all the materials about science you have films etc uh, this is how I, th I suggest that you do it now uh, there are many many more ways we can add the content so it looks even more organized but uh, for now I think this is the best way to enter the three different kind of materials into the libraries that you have.